Hey there, welcome to React.js Live, where we do all sorts of React technology. We've got a Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash groups slash React.js Live. We've also got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash React.js Live. And we've got a new website that we're working through with an SEO series using Next.js. Guess what the domain is? It's react.jslive.com. So welcome today. We're going to be doing a short video for once because I love to talk and I love making all types of videos. We're going to do building your first React website. We had a member come in and ask us live uh, yesterday, I think it was, and say, hey, can you just do the basic walkthrough? And I've actually, we're live streaming, but I'm also recording locally. And then we're going to stop that local record and try to bring that video up and finish out creating an article on dev.to, which is, which is a community that I really like. So let's stay focused. And basically, let's let's kick it off and say, look, you want to make a React website? You're going to go Google it. And then it's going to say building, I don't know, your first React website. You can see it there. I already typed that. And guess who's going to pop up at the top? It's going to be uh, dev.to, building your first React website. So there it is. Now, you can go through this. It's got some great info. It's got the commands that you run. Literally, to build a website, you basically use the command line interface uh, for called Create React App, and it's going to pull down everything you need to do, do the scaffolding that you need, and get you set up, and even give you a little local web server, and you can run it all local host. To host your website, you can do things like, like if you do a Next.js uh, app, it's, it's a framework that's for React, which I've been doing a lot lately. You can use the command line interface that comes with that and push it straight to Zit. Or you can do this Create React app and push it straight to Netlify. Um, with all that said, you can also host the same compilation over on GitHub, which is where I do a lot of my static sites. If you need Node.js and you want to run like the actual server side of Node with your application, you may want to look at something like Zit or I, I think I got to check Netlify. I don't know. But let's stay focused. Today's, uh, whoops, <laughs> I'm still figuring out the angle. Today's demo is creating a React website. So easy to do, right? So we can say, here's viewing the site. You CD to it. You do npm start. The node package manager kicks it off. Um, you can edit the source code that comes with it. A lot of times in the demos that I like to do, I go grab the SVG off my chadcollins.com site, and I paste that in. Depending on the build, sometimes it gets mad at the way my SVG has inline styling inside the code and I have to use some sort of a tag to help that render. We're just going to keep it simple. And here's the React component. Here they show the demo of it. Um, and then basically you have a home page. The final app.js should look like this. So we'll actually go through this, but let's just start off at the very basics, which frankly, I hope this helps who just joined and asked me yesterday, can you show us the basics from the beginning? It's just like that. Google building your first React website. You'll run into the dev.to article. There's so many ways to get this started. There's also some interesting conversation about the use of NPX, which, you know, the installed create React app command more or less doesn't need to be updated. Because I think when you do an NPX, it's going to always grab the latest. So if I already have it, I think I can still run it. Um, Look at that, I got some commands, some speed of the CLI. I don't know if any of that's helpful. It's just commentary. So we're gonna follow this tutorial and finally do it. I've gone over to GitHub and I've created a new repo. And from that repo, I did check out with GitHub Desktop. If you're not very technical or you like to save time or you like using GUIs, which I like to do, you can then set it up in Desktop and then open it directly in Visual Studio, which I'm now uh, Visual Studio Code, which I have to recommend very highly. It's also built in Electron, so check out our other groups and our other videos where we're gonna do Electron with React. That's something that we got going on now. But take a look at Create Basic React App. It's empty. So now that I've got this empty little, little uh, repo here, I'm gonna pull up the terminal and I'm gonna read what they say right here, which is, all I need to do is run npx create react app, hello react app. So what that's gonna do is actually that's going to, and this is where I kind of make a mistake sometimes guys, is that locally I'm gonna want to run this and then it creates a directory and then I'm gonna wanna tell you know, my GitHub tool or use GitHub locally and say, hey, this is a new repo. At, I wanna add these files, I wanna add this up to, my, I wanna connect it to my GitHub. So let's go ahead and, 
see if we can't not confuse people and just follow the directions here. So this one's going to be called Hello React. And forget everything I said about I already set up a GitHub. Let's just pretend I didn't do that. I actually did. But I'm just going to follow these directions. So we're going to npx create React app, Hello React. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to start up a command line. And I'm going to actually traverse to where I want to put this. So I think if I, you know, if I recall, you know, my Windows, um, I can just go to my GitHub directory. I think I have it up a couple directories. Yep. And then I'm going to, I think it's mkdir, and I'm going to call it hello. I can't even type. Hello React. And then I'm going to cd to hello React. And then inside of here, we're now going to create this command npx create React app hello React. It's going to put it in the subdirectory, right? So what was it? npx create React app, and then you name what you want your, your application to be. It's going to be the folder. It's going to create a package.json with the title of the app, I believe. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to call it hello React for the documentation and click enter. Now it's going to go out and it's going to do a bunch of magic. And this gives me a chance to sort of tell bad jokes and or play some audio file with some applause. So let's go get that file and look for the applause audio. It's right there, ready to go. And for all you guys out there, I just want to say thank you for your applause. I really, really appreciate it. I've got the audio turned down. So, you know, just the visual cheering is cool. But like you can kind of see that it takes a little bit of a build. And let's minimize that. And it's almost done. Um, this is worthy of another sip of coffee while we wait. I am proud to tell you a little bit about myself that uh, I gave up white sugar about two months ago. So I had to get in and drinking coffee with no sugar. And I can't say that I've become a connoisseur of just plain coffee, but you know, I got used to it. So that's interesting. I basically use it when I need to get a little bit of a pick me up, get a little more focus. They say that you can get a little bit of an IQ boost when you drink coffee, two to four points. And we really want to stay focused here and not start yawning because it'd be so boring watching pound signs go across the screen. But back over to the article while that's finishing up, this guy right here, tools like this, you know, dev.to, great place to make friends and to read tons of things about React. And it looks like it says it's success. It created the React app. Like I said, lately I've been doing creating my React apps with Next.js as a CLI which is for server-side rendering. This isn't going to give us that. Maybe I got to check in. Maybe by the time you watch this video, uh, that won't be the case. But you can do a start right away. Um, but you also, I, I can't remember if you need to do a, like, uh, we can just do yarn start. We might get an error, but we might need to do an NPM install. But let's say yarn start. Couldn't find the package.json. I need to actually CD, sorry, to hello react. And then let's try that yarn start. And it's going to go ahead and start the local web server there. I think that's the one that comes with Webpack. I'm pretty sure it is. It says something else is running on port 3000. Of course it is. I click yes. It's going to run it on 3001. And then what we're going to see is our React app. So I'll probably end the video there and maybe go over the article a little bit. Maybe make one change. Uh, maybe I'll add it to GitHub so someone can understand what they do there. But look at that, edit src app.js and save to reload, learn React. They got a little link in there. So it looks like they've updated their banner page. That's pretty cool. So, okay, I'll make a quick little change. But what I'm going to do for those GitHub users, for the folks that are kind of learning or they're a little bit of time savers, is I'll bring over the GitHub desktop app, wherever the heck that is, right there. And then I'm going to go file, add a local repository. If I say, no, it's not a repo yet. If I say new repo, I'm going to call this one Hello React. And I want to look for it. It's going to be actually choose over my GitHub dir, And then there's, it's going to be here. Hello React, Hello React. A little redundant. And select folder. This, this directory appears to be a Git repository. Would you like to add this repository instead? My bad. That's a yes. And click add repository. And so now it's connected and now I can publish it and it's going to go up to my rather be surfing on GitHub 
and everybody's going to have that magic up there for this very basic app. And so now it's tied in with source. And we just kind of wait for it to push. And if everything went good, we should see it up here on my GitHub, which is rather be surfing slash. It's going to be hello. I can't see. Is that it? Yep. React. I think that was it. And it's real TV, real live. Video's getting a little bit long, but now I've got the README and the SRC folder and the public folder, and there's the basics. Some, some assets are going to stick in your public, and some are going to go in source for compilation for when you go to bundle for live. Um, you'll figure some of that out as you go. But here we got the Hello React over in. Now, let's, now that we've got everything kind of dialed in, we can go open it in Visual Studio Code. It's going to give us a nice directory listing on the right there. And we can kind of see the files. Uh, notice that my node modules directory is there. We don't really want to check those in. That's why it's, it's grayed out and it's, it's going to be ignored. Um, it's probably listed in the git ignore. Let's hope that it is. I don't see the node module. Yep, there it is, line four. So it won't end up in source control. So for you new folks out there, I can understand where you're coming from. I had to figure it out on my own back in the days too. You, uh, the, the git ignore file makes it so you just put the source code and the references to the modules and libraries and code that you need. So that way, when another developer comes on the team, checks out the stuff, they get everything built locally. We're not passing around a bunch of redundant things like the build for node modules. Um, there's some other things ignored here too, uh, but let's go back and let's actually make a file. So in the public, we have this favicon. We have an index.html that has like the static stuff in here. So we're going to call it, instead of React app, we're going to call it um, hello React app. Um, you need to enable JavaScript shows up if the browser's not running it. So that's some default stuff. So I'm going to make that change. You got some logos in here, some PNGs, and then you've got a robots, robots file, some stuff that comes with it. But in here, we've got our app CSS, and that's the basics that kind of come with it. And you can modify this. You've also got app.js, which is basically like the main loader application file. You can do a lot of imports there. Kind of tells it where the global stuff is going to be, like the logo, where the CSS is referenced. Up there, we just looked at that file. It even comes with tests. So that's kind of neat. So it renders without crashing. Const div, document create element div, react uh, DOM render app, and um, unmount component at node. So that's going to basically give you your first little test using some of the keywords there, the action statements. Um, so let's take a look at the index. What do we got? Index.js. So this is like another file that is in its own way is also a main file. Um, and it allows you to also do certain imports that are more app specific, um, almost like a main.j, like, like in some application systems like main, um, like in PHP, you might have a theme, like a WordPress app, and you'll want to have a main. Uh, it depends on how you're approaching it, like with like create React apps with Next, um, you may want to set up like a, a, like a reference to importing your layout.js and really kind of utilize that more too. But let's keep it simple with index.js. Um, it's got some, you know, some some service worker references here. You got reference to CSS. It brings in this this global stuff. And like, let's say that we wanted to make a change to what they had there. Um, we're gonna look for where they where they, where where is it that they first mentioned? Where is let's let's run the app. Here it's hello. React app, edit SRC to save and reload. Let's find out where that is and we'll take a look. And then we're going to close out this video and I'm going to publish it. So paste that and see where that is. No results found. Now that's something coming. Where is that coming? Out? Now edit SRC. Where does this learn React? Let's see where that's coming from. Hopefully that's looking in the right directory. That's coming out of the README, and it's also an app.js. Uh, my bad. So there's the link. Interesting that it says edit src app.js and save to reload. So you'll get hot reloading, telling us to edit the app.js file. Okie dokie. Oh, it's right there, dir. I, I looked for the plain string, but they have the code tags around it. So if we were to change this to, you know, 
hello react app and click save, you're going to get hot reloading and it just basically does hello react app right there. And then if you want to learn react, like hello react, maybe I can go grab um, the hello react GitHub file uh, reference to the repo. And of course you can change that stuff too. So there's a lot more to react than just doing these small uh, little changes but you'll have an environment to start. And, I, and I've been a big fan of Next.js lately, so you'll see more stuff that I'm building soon with that. So that's the basics. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and GitHub push that. Um, again, if you're a beginner and you wanted to know, it's be good to be really descriptive with your GitHub pushes, um, especially when you create new files or make any, some people say commit often. So I'm gonna say um, make a change to the initial uh, CRA, create React app, build, small change in app.js to content for demo, whatever. Commit that and push that to origin. Now that'll go up and that's going to be at that URL. So guys, thanks for coming by. You know, I'll probably create React app and create a next app and create a, Git, a Gatsby app uh, quite a few times because we do have a lot of folks that come in as beginners into our React uh, Facebook group. Uh, it's called React.js Live. And we also have more senior developers. Um, I've been developing a long time, but I'm still learning React. Uh, I feel like I know a lot, but then there's some things I just need to get my hands on and get sharper with. So personally, I'm at a place now after using React for about a year, but not like coding it a year straight, but just kind of messing with it and learning more and talking about it, um, I'm gonna get stronger with hooks. Um, I've looked at some of the more advanced stuff like suspense, that's not even official yet. From Abramov did a great video about it. So thanks for coming by and seeing the basics. If you have questions, you can go to tinyurl.com slash discord tech, and it'll redirect you to, a, to our discord group that's for all of the technology groups we have on Facebook. And be sure to go over to youtube.com slash c, slash react.js live and smash that like button and thanks for coming by. Appreciate you very much.